everybody. Uh, no big thing. No big deal, ladies and gentlemen. What happened last night was, some of you may be aware that we have this little puppy dog. Well, he's seven months old. He's not little, but he's still very much a little puppy dog. And if he's not looked after, um, he chose to, he did he did a hundred and twenty pounds worth of damage to headphones cables about in about fifteen seconds. <laughs> and so he has to be watched, you know. And um just people's availability to take care of the dog was misjudged. And so I realised I couldn't stream because he'd be out there or he'd be in here and he'd be causing havoc. He's a fantastic dog, I love him to bits. Texas, hello Ted Webster in Texas. Graham Gall, hello Ted Bear. Uh, two Ted's, Michael Hodgson, hello David Armstrong in Maryport. Dita Sherney. Axel, hello everybody. Okay, so last night's show is now going to happen today. Julia, hello. Jamila, Jamila Jula, excuse me. I can only say so much from here with me grandpa eyes. <clears throat> Hopefully everything's coming through loud and clear, clear picture, clear audio, um, should be, everything's as it was. Um, I hope that it will be, um, Bruce, hello, Jim Boardman in Virginia, I hope that the, um, the quality of the stream is going to improve um, in the coming months, maybe between now and Christmas, because in this part of the, the city, we only have um, a certain broadband and um, they're going to boost it up big time. Got an email recently. Are you interested in the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate? Uh, Gordon Booth, hello. Richard David, hello. It's nice to see so many people coming on board. So you see I've got the sophisticated, the f sophisticated. Um, the idea is that, you know, this is as good as I can give you at the moment. Oh, look at that. It's very, ex it's very, s looks expensive. It's not really, it's just a lot of hard work. But when, um, when Brit British Telecom get the new line in, uh, it's going to get even better. Oh, the audio and the picture will improve. Um, if you're watching on a laptop or a phone, it's probably as good as it's going to get, but if you're watching on a big TV. Oh, right. By the way, I'm going to start playing in a moment. I like to... Hello, Jeff. Nice to see everybody. Eduardo. I like to tread water just for a minute or two because, you know, s some people get the message and they don't tune in or some people find it and they're sitting on the phone and they join the stream and I don't want to be like 10 minutes into the... You know, halfway through the first song when people join the stream. Not that. That's the biggest deal in the world. Um, but uh, this side of your YouTube screen down here, click the settings and make sure you're on 1080. Yeah, because YouTube has reduced the bandwidth because of the pandemic, because there's too many people online. They should, s well, I'm not going to say anything. So, what blues? What blues, not blues? <laughs> Gary McCourt, hello. Right, let's go.
the first one, the first drink of the day, is always the hardest one to get down. <laughs> Scott McNair. Yeah, I think maybe the input of the guitar is a bit hot, actually. And uh, okay, that was called What Blues, not blues. It's from the Light album, which is available actually. If you want to download that track, it's on my Bandcamp. I'm in Newcastle, um, Scott, in Toronto. I'm in Newcastle, about 180, 200 miles from Liverpool. Don't quote me. Don't quote me. That's that's. I'm in the northeast. Your family's in the northwest, past Manchester on the coast. Beatles came from... No, they didn't. Come on. Can't talk about the Beatles. Christ almighty. Who are the Beatles? Never heard of them. Okay. What's track two? Mirror of the Mind. It's about the imagination and the reality of your life. <laughs> Hang on a second. <coughs> oh, Newcastle, listen, you know Newcastle United's in the, in, in the process of, of uh, being bought out and there's some kind of political wrangling going on in the background. Mm. And I suspect Liverpool beat Newcastle because they're up in the air and they've got a, de they've got a dreadful owner and... Business is a mess. Newcastle United. I'm not a massive Newcastle United supporter, but the fans deserve to be better trapped than what they're getting. Anyway, I always make myself a cup of tea and it sits there and gets cold. So, let's go.
that one's got a strange ending. The thing, the thing with these backing tracks, um, they are some of them are from the albums that I've made, and some of them are from YouTube videos that are static, not live videos like this. Um, originally, and so the tracks like faded out, okay, or you would have some kind of thing that led the track out where you would put the website up at the end, you know, paulrose.co.uk, like that, <laughs> right? <clears throat> so some of them were, some of these backing tracks were created to accommodate um, either a website or a logo for the end of a YouTube video or there were a fade out on a, on a CD. And then when I've re, re, reintroduced them, re whatever you want to call it, the, the, I can't use the fade out because I'm playing over the top but if it fades out I'm going to be left here with nothing to play over so sometimes they just stop you know, sort of a bit of a mess well I'm glad everybody's enjoying the music you store Kenny Mortimer got a bad cold uh, Bernard Susan Hall nice to see you Jeff Lewis in Swansea Robert Casu, San Antonio, Texas, Bob Matthews. It's great, this. It's great. So let us drink me tea before it goes cold. L long tea breaks in the first tracks until the tea's finished. You might be interested to know that I've got a foot switch on the floor here that switches to that camera for 10 seconds. You know, switches to that camera for 10 seconds and then it comes back to me automatically. So you see, I can go to that camera and play it. I don't have to, don't have to do anything. And it's got a 10 second, it holds for 10 seconds. Yeah. And then it'll come back to me, I don't have to touch it. So when I do some stuff that people might be interested in technically, you can have a closer look. Hello from Ohio, Carl Hatz, thank you very much. Number three, single coil. Okay. <laughs> the reason I called this track single coil is because was because I recorded it with a single coil guitar. But because someone's just mentioned Peter Green, I'm playing the Les Paul. We'll talk about Peter Green in a moment. Single coil. Let's have a look. Don't want too much of a distorted sound for this. Reverb. Okay, let's give it a try. It's from the Promises CD, which is available at Bandcamp. Let's get them back on. Oh, shit. Talk about that later. This isn't single coil. It's called Simple Not Easy. My apologies, not important.
That's called Simple Not Easy, which is also from the Light album, which is available from Bandcamp, as are all of these tracks on various different albums. Peter Allen, hello. Peter Allen, nice to see you. Uh, everybody else. A couple of things about the messages. I don't see them all because I'm playing and sometimes if you get through the net and also I'm using like a catch-all messaging thing on, a, on an old laptop here and I don't think it picks up all of the messages maybe it does maybe it doesn't but often the messages that I haven't seen during the show or they haven't appeared on here during the show but I will check all of your messages at the end of the show but also I have this thing where I check your messages and I sit here and I go quiet while I stare at that screen and read your messages, which is not really what I want to do. I want to play what's number four. Sleepy Dog Story, written about the late Charlie Rose, my West Highland Terrier, who died just over a year ago. It was one year last week since little Charlie died. A splendid little dog he was. And I wrote this track while he was asleep in the corner over there. And uh, the video on YouTube, you see him in the video on YouTube. So what was that, number four? Thank you. 
Sleepy Dog Story. Of course, we have a new dog now. <laughs> and I've got him under one of these buttons here somewhere. It's not that one. Yes, it is. It's that one. There's Dylan. Yes. We'll come back to that shortly. <laughs> a little mobbit. He's great. He's got the house wrecked, but hey, who cares? Uh, so what's next? If that was track four, number five, Note to Self, another original track. They've all been originals so far. Paul Hickey, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever we are. Um, hello, everybody. Bad Cat, rock and roll, daddy up. Rock and roll. Um. <laughs> no, I, I require I require the slide. Uh, God, there's all kind of messages popping up here. Right, this is the thing I've got to force myself to avoid these uh, avoid these messages it's not because i don't want to talk to you it's because i don't want to sit here in silence staring blankly at that screen trying to read all of the messages but the next one is note to self which is from the title track of the album note to self which is available on Bandcamp. yes it is it's not really a t it's not really a it's not really a les paul number this it's a strat telecaster thing but let's not quibble.
that's one of those endings I was just talking about. Note to self. Yes. Palmdale Boulevard, Dave Edwards. Uh, well, thank you very much. Oh, and uh, Ian Meggs and Cold Wet Melbourne. I thought Melbourne was a beautiful sunny, well, it probably <laughs> cold and wet in Newcastle, is a to Newcastle, England, is a totally different cold and wet to Melbourne, I'm sure. Uh, so, I'm just, I'm just, just scanning, 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 okay. We're into the next bank. Yeah, number six. Black Magic Woman. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, Peter Green died at the weekend. Um, I've got to say, a lot of people commented that it was sad that Peter Green died. Well, it was. It was. I think it was sad that he, his mental health issues um, overtook his musical abilities. I think that's sad. But I think that I don't know Peter Green. I don't know what kind of guy he was. Certainly get the impression he was a decent lad. Although Clapton didn't seem to agree. <laughs> um, but the point is, is that he seemed to be content and he seemed to be loved. And he seemed to be peaceful. And I think he was pretty comfortable. Uh, I think that he got his bit from the Fleetwood Mac stuff. I mean, if you think about Black Magic Woman, the money that Santana's cover version of Black Magic Woman would have brought in would be enough to keep anybody in a lifetime. So it's not about money. I think it's like um, who he was and what happened to him. It was only fair that he had the money, if he did. I think he did. Had the money to live comfortable. Imagine being that great genius that he was um, to be sitting in poverty um, in a council flat. You know, it, it wouldn't be fair. So I, I don't think it's sad. I don't think it's sad. He died at 73, a comfortable, loved, happy guy. That's what it looks like to me. The sadness is the loss of the talent back in the early 70s. That's, that's sad. Hendrix was 27 when he died. That's sad. Jesus. Hendrix was 27 when he died, you know, uh, that is a, that's a fucking waste and sad, you know. I bet Hendrix would like to have died at 73 in a comfortable home, fishing every day with his family around him. But brilliant musician, brilliant player. Um, thank you very much, Eduardo. Yes, uh, I will... Yeah, 18th of September, Hendrix. Um, I will um, read all of your message after the show, but I'm going to do Black Magic Woman. It's not a tribute to Peter Green. It's just an acknowledgement that he died this week, you know. Hello, Aziz. Dave Alman. Dwayne Alman died at 25. Exactly, exactly. Peter Green was 73, sitting in front, sitting on the sofa watching Netflix, you know. With his, with his bills paid and his belly full.
Should we do it again? Shall we do it again? Let's do it again. Peter Green, okay. Adios, Peter. 
the music will go on forever. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Hello, Stephanie Robinson. Hello, Will Arigi Arigada. I must apologize in all earnest to those of you who leave nice messages and I can't pronounce your names because you're in countries I, I don't know what country you're in and I don't know which language you're speaking so when I read a name sometimes it's difficult to pronounce it uh, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I and I apologize for that okay so Peter Green farewell goodbye um, Somebody said about didn't Peter Green sell uh, his song? Uh, Sons Relaxantis Beltrio and Schuldigo. Um Welcome, nice to hear from you. Um, I think if Peter Green had sold the rights to his songs with friends like Mick Fleetwood and John McVie, they're not exactly short of a few quid. Uh, yes, well, what do I know? I know nothing. I know nothing. Okay. Peter Green, thank you. Vine Street, this is one that I wrote a long time ago. Do you know, it might be strap time. <clears throat> it is, it's strap time. tell you what I'm going to do I'm going to play an intermission video because I'll get tangled up in cables and microphone cables and headphone cables and it'll be like Laurel and Hardy <laughs> uh, we can't have that can we Yes, I'm muted. Thank you very much for telling me. Uh, okay. This next one's called Line Street, and it's about a street. It's not about a street and biker. It's not about a street and biker. What can you say about a street and biker? Nothing. 
But the first demo I ever did of, the, of this was recorded in a recording studio in a building in Baker called The Clooney, which was on Lime Street. So for the want of a better title, here we are. You can hear me now? Yes, I was muted. I switched the mic off. I should have known, should know better than that. Lime Street. This is Jim Drummond on drums, Kenny Hutchison on bass. I think. It's a big reverb song.
possibly a little bit rogy, but who cares? Thank you very much, Sons Relaxantes Beltrio. Uh, and excuse me for my inability to pronounce your name. Uh, Aziz L. Cohen. Hello, Ted Waldron. Um, used to. Yeah, that's from the Light album. Clem Fandango, can you hear me? Dirk Bust Bolson. How you doing, Dirk? In New York. My man from New York there. And um, I think the strap might have been a little bit out of tune when we started there. And I also think the batteries are getting a bit low on this as well, because it's dim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. From the light album, yes. Justo, Justo, Justo Leon uh, on Facebook talking about the light album. Thank you very much. And also Paul Hickey was talking about the White Mountain Road album. I've got two good albums there, apparently. I've made 15. I <laughs> hope they're all good. Uh, you're in Brazil. Thank you very much. So... If that was track seven, it only stands to reason that the next one will be eight. This one's called Dopamine Disaster, which is also from the light record, which I may press on vinyl if I can get the funds together. I'm not one of these guys for, you know, sticking the hand out on the internet. Everybody's wanting, I could just sponsor me. I need sponsorship, but I can't be bothered with this constant... You know, I've said this before, you know, people opening phones. I've got an iPhone 12 here, and I'm going to open it for you so you can see it. Look, look, everybody. It's a phone. Would you like to, would you like to send me some money for, for, this, for this phone that I'm showing you? <clears throat> Don't say I'm bitter. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, everybody. So this next one's called The Dopamine Disaster. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> this next one's called The Dopamine Disaster. And it's about um, the dopamine disaster of the modern world with computers, blue light, sugar, all kinds of thrills that you can find on the internet, gambling, you name it. Um, cigarettes. Sugar's got a lot to do with it. Sugar and uh, dopamine. We're all chasing the dragon, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Unfortunately. John Robert Bundrick on Hammond Organ on this from The Who, a great player. <laughs>
Okay, there you go. <laughs> Hope everything's still coming through loud and clear. Bad Monster. Thank you very much, Stephen Coleman. Uh, Michael W. Lights. Hello, 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 hello. Mitek Amakora, thank you very much. Uh huh. Some speak. Some people speak in German there. People speak in German. Okay, what have we got? Number nine. Heavy Funga. <laughs> Ted McKenna playing drums on this one. This track was um, this track was from um, when we were recording the album that became White Mountain Road in Ireland. Ted and Kenny were in the room where everything was set up, and they were just playing this groove. I think I'd gone to make tea or something like that, and I heard them playing this group, and I, I ran back in, and I said, play that again. Stop, stop, and then play it again. And I hit record, and I recorded Ted and Kenny playing this groove, and, and I added a few little things to it. And it, it, it wasn't any, it wasn't, I don't think, ever going to be anything on the White Mountain Road album. But um, it's a backing track. <laughs> And I need backing tracks. So uh, I need to boost the distortion on the guitar. Big time, like that.
what I hit there, I do not know. Thank you very much, Peter Allen. Thank you very much. You'd like that, Stephen Coleman. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, next track's number 10. Change Blues, Big Ted on the drums once again. Um, yeah, we recorded this in the same room as the room, the track that you've just heard. Beautiful room. Such a shame. Such a shame that uh, the music business is full of such psychopaths that this music didn't really get the fair crack of the whip. But that's just the way it is. Um, right, slow blues, Ted on drums, Kenny on bass. And I'm going to try my best to behave myself. And with that much distortion, who are you trying to kid? That's better. That's better. <laughs>
at the end, at, at the end of a lot of these backing tracks that are done with Jim playing drums or Kenny playing, uh, uh, Ted playing drums, you often hear a lot of laughter at the end, and I think it's a testimony to how much fun we have playing this music. And if it's not about fun, then throw it out and start again, do something else. Um, how, you know, success and this this image and this mirage of uh, what it's going to be when you're successful uh, sucks all of the joy out of it, you know. And wannabe managers and wannabe record company bosses who destroy things for their own selfish ends. Nobody benefits, not even them, <laughs> other than they get the satisfaction of destroying great work. I mean, the world's full of it. You just kind of look at the comments and most YouTube videos. There's always somebody in there who, unbeknownst to himself, is just displaying how unhappy and dissatisfied he is. And it's not about the content that's being commented on. Um, it's really so the, the fun that we have making this music is uh, you know I remember I remember every di every every uh, every track that I'm playing here I can remember where we recorded it what the weather was like who was in the band and the laugh and the fun that we had while we were making these things you know um, so okay folks okay what we got? Walker Road Barrels. Oh, let's do Walker Road again. I did another song called Lime Street earlier on in the stream, and it's not about Lime Street. It's where we were when we recorded it. This next one is called Walker Road because I lived on Walker Road when I wrote it, uh, which is interesting because our family lived on Walker Road about 50 years before I lived on Walker Road and um, so it's a funny, it's a funny old world, it's a funny old world. So um, does that mean Walker Road number 11? Yes it does. Big fuzz, big distortion. All the tasteful gentle stuff's finished, okay, it's gone. We're finished with that now. No more tasteful gentle stuff tonight.
yeah, okay, Walker Road. Um, okay, last one for today. I hope you've enjoyed the music today. I've enjoyed playing. It's been a lot, a lot of laughs. And, um, um, yeah, okay. So, basically, I do have a Patreon page if anybody wants to help keep the show on the road. If you want to have online guitar lessons with me, you email me lessons at paulrose.co.uk and we can set something up. I'll tell you how it, how it works and if you're interested. Have a go if you want to just email me paul at paulrose.co.uk say hello. Keep your bitterness and unhappiness to yourself. Not that you're bitter and unhappy, are you? Um, website paulrose.co.uk um, German website paulrosemusic.de um, Thank you Axel Um, okay, so how are we doing? Uh, was there anything else I wanted to say? Let's have a look at Dylan. There he is. Now, this is a this is a this is a trick I'm playing here. Uh, behind the camera, I'm holding a biscuit. <laughs> you see, he's not a good dog. Under any circumstances, he is not a good dog under any circumstances. There you go. He just wants a biscuit. That's all he's interested in. Little bugger. He's great. Drives me up the wall. This next one's called Barrels. Named after a venue in Berwick upon Tweed. Um, another one. Who doesn't answer emails? Thinks their gig's more important than the band. Hello, John Lanigan. Um, barrels, another full on one, and then we'll say good afternoon. <laughs>
That's Mel Gabatas on bass. Yes. Mel Gabatas from Sheffield on bass. Proper bow, I tell me. Although that's a man. <laughs> okay, thanks everybody. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, I did. And that's really all that matters. Um, well, it's not all that matters, but if I'm not enjoying it, I don't feel like I'm playing well. And if I'm not playing well, I don't feel as though I deserve to have these lovely compliments that you send me. I want to play a proper show that justifies everybody being here and having a good time. Okay. Hello, Thomas. How are you doing? Thomas Klein in Britain, in Deutschland. Guten Tag. Guten Nacht. Guten, guten Nachmittag. Guten Nachmittag. Nein, es ist nichts. Es ist nicht. Oh, fucking hell, shut up. Okay. Great. Thank you, everybody. Drop me a... Send me a postcard. Drop me a line. Hit a point of view. Right. That's it. Thank you very much for joining in. Thank you very much for enjoying the show. Hope you did. Like I say, email. Email me, say hello. There's my brother, David Rose. Hello, David Rose. Um, I'm fine. Yes, I'm fine, Thomas. I'm fine, Thomas Klein. I'm fine, Thomas Klein. Last thing. Are you subscribed to my YouTube channel? Have you liked my Facebook page? Have you shared and told everybody to tune in? Um, watched a fantastic film yesterday which is on YouTube called The Bed Sitting Room which was written by Spike Milligan and starred all kinds of people. Peter Cook and Dudley Moore, Spike Milligan, Harry Seacombe, Arthur Lowe. They were all there, folks. They were all there. And Harry Seacombe had a scene in this film where it's after a nuclear war has destroyed London, right? London's gone. It's brilliantly done. It's, it's a depressing film. But Harry Seacombe is held up in this bunker and somebody finds him and he's, uh, he says, thank God I didn't lose me mind. He said, um, I've only had to shoot and kill two people. And he says, who was that? And he says, my mother and my wife. <laughs> and then he says, but I've since been remarried. <laughs> it's fucking insane, I'll tell you. Spike Milligan, what can you say? Okay. Thanks. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. This is the goodbye button. Cheerio. Mm -hmm.